Okay, YouTube, making this video to show you how to replace the speaker in a 400 series Roomba. I'm not exactly sure which series I have because the serial number is located under this battery, and for some reason the sticker is not there on this unit, but I know it's the original Roomba, so, you know, it's close enough. Um, so basically, the reason why you need a speaker in a Roomba is because if something malfunctions, um, it tells you what's wrong through a series of beeps. And um, obviously you're not going to know what's wrong if the speaker doesn't work. So, you have a screw here. Screw here. I'm not 100% if this one needs to be removed. I removed it anyway. Screw, screw, screw. There is a screw behind each tire. One on the other side, and then you got four up here by the batteries, and then with this cover, what you want to do is you want to lift it up in the back, and you want to pull it backwards, shaking from side to side, because it kind of it tucks under the edge of the bumper right here. So shake, 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 come on, there we go. Flip it forward. See, it's got a ribbon cable right there, so you don't want to put too much pressure on it. That's fine. And then your speaker is right here. And it's going to be super glued in. I just took a little flathead. I punched the speaker out. And then this ring right here on the old speaker, I just pried up until it, it broke out of where it was holding. Now the speaker itself, you can get this little, I think it's a piezo speaker um, at Radio Shack. It's like four bucks and some change. And they only sell one speaker, mini speaker. I was going to give you guys the, uh, the model number, but unfortunately I destroyed the bag trying to get it out. Um, it's called a mini speaker. That's what's left of it. But like I said, they only sell one at Radio Shack, so it's, it's not hard to find. And basically, you got two gray wires, um, and you just hook it up. Polarity doesn't matter. This isn't a surround sound stereo unit, so either way you hook it up, it's going to be fine. And then this speaker fits really well where the old speaker used to be, uh, but just for you know precaution, I didn't want it rattling around in there. I, I hot glued it back together and um, now I have sound. There you go. So now that I got sound, hopefully I can figure out what's wrong with this thing, but I just wanted to show you how to replace the speaker because I went on YouTube and Google to try to figure out how to replace the speaker. It had um, tutorials and a manual, but there wasn't any video. So I figured I'd make a video just because I know I'm the kind of person who learns by watching better than by reading, but I figured it out by reading, but it would have been quicker with a video. So here's the video. And, um, you know, to put it back, you see the, the front right there? It used to go underneath that. See if I can do this with one hand. It's kind of hard. You see when you hook it underneath there, it's kind of... Uh, the light's pretty crappy. It's catching on the bumper, so you take your finger. Now, I'm probably not going to be able to do this in one hand now. Make me look like a fool on YouTube. But anyways, you get the picture. Because um, it takes two hands. And just make sure, before you push down on it too hard, the switch is held in place by the cover. Make sure that's back where it goes before you push down on it too hard. That's how you replace the speaker in a Roomba.